my champions. I'm Aishwarya and I'm back with another very interesting question for all of you. Do the fruit jams that we eat on a regular basis contain vitamins and minerals? Now, of course, when we are eating bread with yummy, tasty fruit jam, we don't really think about whether nutrients are present in it. We just enjoy the deliciousness of it. But as biology students, it's very important that we think about what are the nutrients that we find on fruit jams. Because if you take a bottle of it and you have a look at the back, you will see an ingredient list. But we need to look deeper. So for this, we must have a basic understanding of how are these fruit jams made to really understand if they are nutrient rich. Now, when we talk about fruit jams, we know that the things that we would require to make this are cut fruits. Yes, maybe some yummy pineapples, some strawberries, raspberries. We can put all of them together and we will slow cook it. So understand that we are not cooking it very fast, but we are slow cooking it for a long period of time. And eventually we will cook it until a point that it gets that jam-like consistency. Interesting fact for all of you. This jam-like consistency actually happens because of a substance known as pectin that is there that brings all of it together. Now once it is cooked for a good period of time, we get our fruit jams. But there is one ingredient that I still didn't tell you about. And that is sugar. So large amounts of sugar is added to cook and prepare these fruit jams. And if you notice, we, I told you that all of this is cooked at a very slow temperature, right? And it's been cooked for quite some time. Now we know that there are some nutrients which do get hampered on cooking it for a long period of time. And if we expose it to heat. So in some cases, we observe that there are some vitamins which get destroyed, some minerals which get affected. So is it safe for us to say that jams are healthy and they are rich with nutrients and, you know, especially with vitamins and minerals? Well, not quite. The quantity of vitamins and minerals that we would find at the end of it would be very less, right? Because a lot of it would get damaged while cooking it. And at the same time, due to the considerable amount of sugar that gets added, there's quite a bit of calories that we consume as well. So it is good to have jams once in a while, but it's not something that you should be having on a regular basis or on a daily basis. So now I hope that you found this question interesting and the answer to this even more interesting. Now, of course, before I wind up today's class, I hope that all of you are part of our Baiju's mini learning program. Now, you know that in the Baiju's mini learning program, you have the two teacher advantage. And of course, you will have live doubt solving and you will have a visual experience of learning concepts like none other. So get registered now. And if you are among the first 500 students, you can avail the YT first offer where you can avail it for free. So do check this out. And of course, do be, be part of our Telegram family. The link is there in the description box. Now, I do know that all of you might be a little young to be part of Telegram so that you can request your parents to be there on your behalf. And of course, every Friday we do come live on Telegram. We share session PDFs and a lot more happens on our Telegram channel. So I would request all of you to be a part of our community. And of course, you know that the 6 to 8 Baiju's channel has got you covered no matter what. So to show us your love, all that we ask you is to hit that like button, spread the word to your friends, share this video, tell them that this is the channel where you get the answers to all your interesting questions and do not, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Hoping to see you very soon again with another very interesting question. Bye-bye and have a nice day.